speaking of such, we have an email update from last week. This is the email of the week. And last week's podcast for probably 20 minutes, we debated the thread Clecker furious with Kincaid. And then we weren't even sure if Joe Clecker was actually furious with Kincaid. We received an email from the let's run.com poster drew who, who says, I wanted to identify myself as drew who and discuss the question of the validity of my claims that Clecker was furious following the race. As you can hopefully tell from my IP address, I am from South orange County, a mere 15 minutes from the race. I was at the start finish line for the entirety of the two world heats. When Klecker crossed the finish line, he darted immediately infield while yelling something at Kincaid. Given the loud music, I could hear him yell, but was unable to distinguish what was said. His subsequent behavior made it clear that he was very upset with Woody. He removed his singlet and continued to be very animated and appeared to shout back at Woody again. He was escorted by Hoare and Race, as well as a couple other guys in on gear to the opposite corner of the infield where he continued to be very animated. Again, this might be just be frustration, but an interaction with Woody over 20 minutes later confirmed that there was some bad blood. Woody pulled Klecker aside during their cool downs and shook his hand. Klecker tried to pull away, but Woody held on to try to keep him there and get some words in. Klecker clearly wasn't having it. Did I start the thread to stir the pot? Absolutely. I hope we're in the coffee club boys run with this the way they did last year with their comments about Josh Kerr being quote outclassed. Fisher Kincaid Clecker has all the makings of a great 10K showdown. And I think a little bit of an edge could truly make this a showcase event at U.S. Champs and beyond. Well, I appreciate that context, Weldon. It's context because at the time, again, I said we weren't exactly sure what went on. And Joe Clecker went on the Coffee Club podcast last week. He gave all his thoughts. He didn't seem to have any bad blood against Woody Kincaid, but... In the heat of the moment, right after the race finishes, yes, your emotions are a bit more heightened. And he was very frustrated, I think, because Woody was clipping him a couple times. And he didn't want that to result in some long-term injury that he tweaked his calf or anything like that. So I think that was the most frustrating thing is he walks off the track. He thinks, oh my God, is my calf screwed up now because I was clipped from behind in a two-person race where you really shouldn't be clipping each other. So... I don't know. I, but I appreciate the context from Drew as well. Yeah, Drew who? Free Supporters Club membership. And a free t-shirt, I think. We're just giving stuff away this week. These shot surge shirts, if you don't have one, they're super soft. You can get a Let's Run shirt, 159.40 shirt. Check it out, shop.letsrun.com. I can't believe John was still debating whether that story was true or not until we got an email. Like, so You think someone just made it up? Now, I do like the fact that he admitted that he was trying to stir the pot a little bit. So makes it boring sport interesting, but back to Walden's story, he really should have been disqualified for that race. By the way, there, there's two fascinating threads in Let's Run: who is the greatest runner to never win an NCAs, and who is the worst runner to win an NCAs. 